Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is gonna be a get and ready with me, and I'm gonna chit chat, do my skincare. And I feel like a lot of you don't really know anything about me, and I want you guys to know about me if you guys even care. But um, yeah, I thought what a good idea to just do my skincare while I talk, cause I love talking and I love yapping, and I want to get like more comfortable with speaking on YouTube, cause I, I don't know, I'm kind of awkward. Anyways, so I'm excited to show you guys my skincare routine as well as just talk with you guys, update you guys on just how everything's going, and yeah, let's get into it. Also, guys, comment down below what videos you want to see because I don't really know what videos to make. I'm gonna put on my little headband that I got from Korea. Oh wait, I didn't get this from Korea. My mom got this for me from Korea. It's so adorable. Also, I have this little light. If you guys saw like my Christmas haul, I got this. Ooh, okay. Update on my eyes, it's getting kind of better. Basically, I'm cutting off from every single product that I use. Like, I was putting so much stuff on my eye, I think it just like ruined my skin. So it's been really dry, also because it's cold outside, but I'm hoping it gets better. Right now, I'm gonna use a glow recipe toner. This is like the mini one, but it's kind of long lasting. So yeah, this is the watermelon glow. This reminds me of like Sephora kit, Sephora like epidemic. My thoughts on the Sephora epidemic, I'm only 14 years old. I barely go to Sephora, but maybe I'm considered a Sephora kid. I think, Sephora kits are fine, but like, I think this goes for me too. Like, I feel like products from Sephora and just like makeup in general, it kind of started to ruin my skin. Skincare is okay, but like things like makeup products, like all that stuff, like I feel like that's part of the cause of my eczema. And also, if they're not like bullying people, all the experiences I've had with like little kids shopping at Sephora have never been bad. Like if they're not bullying people or being mean to people, I think it's fine because some of them are nice. And I feel like, I don't know, I kind of feel bad because people kind of just like, generalize them. Am I making sense, guys? Anyways, I'm gonna put in my Ordinary Serums. This is the one with nice, nice and mine. I haven't used Ordinary Serums in a hot minute. Also, this is not, this is like a whole skincare routine. I don't use these, but I just wanted to make the video longer. Okay, wait, I'll just tell you guys what I usually use. Anyways, I don't use these two, but I'm just gonna put it in. Sorry guys, my sister's playing in the background. Oh wait, I should probably tell you guys a little bit about me. My name is Lilia, um, I live in the States. I have one sister and my mom is Chinese. My mom is Japanese while my dad is Chinese. I can speak Japanese. Um, I started my YouTube channel back in 2021 during COVID. I got really bored. Also, I like would film videos of me doing literally anything. I'd be like, guys, I'm gonna brush my teeth right now. Ever since I was like, seven like forever i feel like everybody did that but yeah i just like really love being in front of the camera um so my mom just told me to start a youtube channel so that's exactly what i did i'm gonna go in with the hyaluronic acid god don't want my sister playing violin I can you be quieter um so yeah i started a youtube channel i deleted all of my videos though so it was looking like, cringy like looking back at them okay my first like couple videos they, i thought they were all cute and stuff like that but after a while I entered my little weird phase. Maybe I'm still in that, I don't even know. Yeah, I entered a really weird phase and I was just like weird and I was kind of emo. Um, so yeah, I kind of deleted a lot of my videos. Also, I was just a really bad editor. Like I didn't learn how to edit until honestly like a couple months ago. Like I would have all these unnecessary scenes. Also guys, I'm just yapping. I'm gonna stop talking for a little bit. So I'm gonna talk about school now. I'm gonna rate actually all the years. Okay, so I'm in eighth grade right now. So I'm gonna rate all my years in middle school. Sixth grade was actually good. We were getting settled in. A lot of people say it's hard, but for me personally, I think it was kind of easy. Also guys, I'm gonna put it on my Snail 92 Cost RX. This is so good, it's Snow Mason. But anyways, I think it was easy and it was fun. Everybody's in their little weird phase. So it's just like all chill, you know what I mean? Okay, seventh grade was also good. I liked that year. Although academically it was hard, I was like chill. Like, I don't know, it wasn't as bad. But I will say sixth grade was my best year. Um, lastly, eighth grade is not going too good. Like it's not terrible, but I feel like being with the same people all the time, it kind of gets boring. That's just what I think. I feel like if I had any tips for middle schoolers, don't get involved in drama, number one. I'm gonna put in this Avene. Sorry, I'm so bad at saying stuff. Anyways, Avene. I put that on my eye cause it gets a little bit dry. So I just put it on like once a day. So I'm gonna put that on right now. Anyways, don't get involved in drama because it actually sucks. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda like listening to drama, but just don't get involved in it because you don't wanna be the one in the drama. Also, don't try to crave attention. Like, I feel like middle school is just where everybody wants attention, popularity, like social status, stuff like that. It's just like so dumb and it's really not worth it. I will say in sixth grade, I really wanted that attention, but like 
in the very end like it does not matter you're probably gonna go to like different schools than everybody else that is the last thing i need to be worrying about like just focus on school have fun with friends that you really truly care about and if you, like your friends aren't giving you time and they're not putting energy into your friendship with them just drop them and like just don't make a big deal out of it anyways i'm gonna put in this caratex hair oil it's, it has keratin sorry guys i have like i think i have speech impediment anyways i'm like slurring my words i have a lot of split ends because i dry my hair like directly next to my hair and it just splits it anyways i put on this hair oil to rejuvenize my hair i don't even know if i use that word correctly i'm low-key like almost done with my routine how long is this video this might be like the shortest video ever anyways i'm gonna put this chinese cream on <laughs> my grandma actually got this for me because i had eczema it literally looks like that it has a bunch of random chinese books that i can't read but i'm gonna put it on because it works so well on my lip right here like look how clear that is anyways i just put like the smallest about amount on because some of these um medicines have steroids and like after i'm done using them the eczema just comes right back so i like kind of have been cutting off on steroids and then i'm gonna use this Girl, I don't even know what that says. You guys can read that, but um, it's for my eczema right here. Guys, I don't really have such sensitive skin. I hate it. Like, yeah. Do you guys see that? Anyways, this was prescribed to me. Yeah, I use this every night. I think most of the cause of my eczema is because it's so dry and it's the winter time. So once um, it's in the summer. Oh, I'm so excited for summer. Really. Don't even get me started. I shop for so long just looking at summer clothes and i'm not even gonna buy any of them because you know oh my god sorry i keep getting distracted anyways we have a trip planned in march like the end of march so i'm definitely gonna vlog that Ugh! i'm so excited to take you guys along like i'm gonna edit so hard and the video is just gonna be so good guys trust so yeah that is something exciting that keeps me going i kind of lose motivation a lot in school but when i like focus on something that i'm excited for like spring break hanging out with friends like that is what makes me work because at the end of the day like i want to be able to deserve that like hang out with your friends that like vacation or whatever i want to deserve it so i work harder it's just kind of that thing in my head anyways okay last step guys i'm gonna put on some chapstick because i have chapsticks oh all right guys bro why is my sister so loud actually okay guys anyways i'm done with my skincare i really hope you guys enjoyed this little chit chat with me and i hope you guys get to know me a little more i really enjoyed spending time with you guys thank you guys for staying with me um i'll see you guys next week thank you guys so much for watching Bye.